just to be clear, I don't think it's a full reflection of people who take a career break that they go off to the boy and hard up money or anything like that. A lot of teachers, most teachers, I would argue, take a career break, do so to go off, take care responsibilities, and um, raise their family, have sure. children. And that happens in the absence of a publicly afforded model of childcare. However, what I should say is this conversation about career breaks is happening now because there's a genuine problem in this school in terms of teacher retention. And what the Minister announced last night was an evasion that changes the dynamic of the conversation. So we brought a motion to Dáil and today, which motivated the Minister's actions in the last couple of days, highlighting the fact that 91% of schools in the country, post-primary schools in the country, have had teacher shortages. We've set out the reasons why that is, the consequences for children, for example, with additional education needs who don't have a full teacher being reallocated then and highlighted solutions. And only then has Norma Foley and the Department Cabinet come back and said, oh yeah, this is an issue. Here's some potential suggestions of what we could do, one of them being the career break. The career break is not going to, the suspension of a career break, whatever you may feel about it, your listeners may feel about it, is not going to do anything to address the problem in the short term. That's just gone. And actually, I'd argue, like um, Paul just said in the phone there, if people are not allowed to take the career break, they'll just leave anyway. What we need is short and medium term solutions to enhance the teaching profession at this moment in time. But, the but do, you, do you go along in the Social Democrats with the idea of someone just, I mean, I can understand compassionate leave mm-hmm. where you take a career break to look after maybe an elderly relative mm-hmm. or, well, if you're having children on a serial basis, having two or three children on the trot, which a lot of people like to do. They like to have the kids all around the same mm-hmm. age, you know, a couple of years apart. Um, I mean, even the current arrangements don't require taking a career break for a, a mm-hmm. lot of teachers. They manage their pregnancies around long holidays and their uh, pregnancy entitlements so they actually get an extended career break without taking one. Yeah, that's fine, Pat, but I mean, managing pregnancy is also about managing your childcare responsibilities and we don't have that infrastructure in this country. So, I mean, let's take a more holistic look at it. But what's also very important, I would say, is there are other factors which are taking teachers away from this country, most notably the cost of rent and housing in this country. So if somebody's going off to Dubai, it's because they can't afford to live in Dublin. That's my experience of it. The teachers that I've known who would have come to college with me, they want to teach in their local communities or in the cities where they grow up in. But that's not possible here. So one of the and, and do you believe that you bring back this valuable experience from Dubai uh, to say one of your schools in your constituency and mm-hmm. it really feeds in to their the it enriches the experience <laughs> no, of the child I think the opposite is probably true I think we train teachers here to an incredibly high standard now I have questions about um, the cost of a master's program for example but I think we take, sure. we take that experience and send it overseas like we do with our nurses for example and other public service in this country we train them to an incredibly high standard and then create the conditions where they can't afford to live here Do you believe that, though that uh, teachers should accumulate if you like the right to get a career break that there's no point in you know after two years you say I'm off I'll see you in five <laughs> you know or mm. you know maybe after five or six or seven years you accumulate a right to a certain length of time so uh, as a career break I should say but I think that's a very worthy discussion that we should be having and I know the INTO for example have been trying to reach the Minister for the last month to have a meeting about the teacher crisis that's happening in their schools but that's not the, that's not what's happening in their schools at the moment here's what I believe I believe that a child with additional education needs deserves a special education teacher in our current environment in our schools with the teacher shortages that's not happening no they, they are so, being diverted to th- general teaching exactly, duties exactly because of the absence of teachers so what we've done in the social democrats is bring this um, to the fore and say yes let's discuss it as a whole let's provide some solutions that's and one of the things the minister has done today to cover up their own ineptitude of this government is to change the nature of the conversation I will have the conversation about career breaks it's a wordy one. But today, our motion is about solving this problem today. So what, what elements are you putting into your motion? So today, what we're looking at in terms of establishing an emergency teacher supply task force, that should consist of teachers, principals, unions, get around the table, look for um, decisions. And look no, for but hang on a second. The task force is great. Yeah, People, but, uh, politicians no, but, are great at task forces and but, committees and all but, that. But if the teachers are not present because exactly. they have gone AWOL on, on career breaks, 
I so mean, what are you going to do? So Send a- a- ambassadors over to Dubai and lure them back with filthy lucre? Oh, no. But one of the things you could do is actually look at the reasons why somebody may do that. Permanent contracts for teacher professions, particularly young ones, are absolutely essential. That would mean that a young teacher could start a career, have a permanent contract, heaven forbid, aspire to get a mortgage in this country because they can't do that at the moment. So now we need to look at the reasons. But once you get the permanent contract, you're free to look for a career break and off you pop. But people don't do that. Like for me, the evidence would suggest that people don't do that. One of the reasons people go overseas, particularly younger teachers, is because they haven't got a permanent contract here. That what they're being paid doesn't cover the cost of rent. So we address that. They're also, so for example, we need to work with the HEIs to get student teachers toward fourth year back into the classrooms, pay them and actually cover the gaps that exist there. Then there are other factors. But you know for me, I'm a big believer in education. People on low income backgrounds can't get into the profession because the education and masters cost 12 and a half grand and it's two years. That needs to come down.